I mean, I've been invited 300 times to karaoke nights, and I prefer to run butt naked around the street <laughs> than singing to a bunch of people. Oliver, when did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? I don't know whether I've ever sang to, uh, to uh, someone else. Uh, yes, certainly I don't think singing is my uh, strongest point. Well, mine is a bit similar to yours. I hate my voice, especially <laughs> when I hear it in interviews or anything like that. I think the closest I've got, gotten to singing would be maybe humming <laughs> in the car or whatever, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's never going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I've been invited 300 times to karaoke nights and I prefer to run butt naked around the street <laughs> than singing to a bunch of people. Is there something you've dreamed of doing for a long time? If so, why haven't you done it? I think uh, I own a race team. You know, I own a go-kart team in North America. Um, and it's always something fun to be able to help younger kids yeah. and give a little bit back to the sport, uh, what we have had, and uh, you know, maybe grow that a little bit more, you know? I mean, I always like to be able to run a team and be able to help kids and uh, a little bit past, a little bit our, our experience that we've learned our whole career. For me, it's um, I guess maybe seeing more of the world. Um, you know, we're very fortunate and very lucky to get to do a lot of travelling with our uh, kind of job and motorsport. But um, I guess when we're we're away, quite often it's uh, you're at a racetrack, you're you're or you're travelling, you're in the airport, in the hotel, you, and people think you travel a lot, but you don't get to see so much of the places you're at because you're always very uh, busy and focused on the race. So. Oliver, if you could wake up tomorrow and gain any one quality or ability, what would it be? For me, maybe is uh, to have to be able to travel uh, or to be able to arrive in somewhere immediately <laughs> would be great to have more time. It's a very uh, good, uh, very good one. I haven't thought about that one. Um, yeah, spend a, this year especially spent a lot, lot of time traveling and uh, the time we spend on the airplane every year it is uh, very time consuming. Yep. Uh, especially when you don't have internet. <laughs> you cannot speak to your friends and uh, you cannot reply to emails. What is your most treasured memory? My most treasured memory is um, the first time my father gave me a car was a clutch and, a, and, a, and two gears, first and second. Actually three was reverse. Um, I was about three to f I would say four years old maybe. And uh, my father always wanted us to learn things very quickly. I mean it was like to swim, he just throws it in the pool and you need to learn how to swim. Bicycle just pushes us and we need to be, you know, he's very impatient. And uh, I remember I was so nervous. I mean, sitting in this little car, it was like a tiny little Mercedes with a, a little Honda engine in the back or something. And I mean, it really had a clutch, a brake and a, and a shuttle, you know, and I really had to put first gear and release the clutch by itself. And the coordination when you're four years old, it is pretty difficult to be able to, to drive a car like that. And I remember, uh, I managed to get the car going, first gear, and I just panicked and I got a bit kind of froze and drove right into the fence with all the bushes <laughs> and uh, I got so nervous about it that uh, I actually remember my father kind of yelling at me and uh, <laughs> trying to teach me how to drive a car when I was only before I was four years old. Yeah, I guess in my, my career my most treasured memory is um, actually winning an award, uh, winning the McLaren Autosport kind of Young Driver of the Year award. Um, because it was kind of that year, I, at the start of the season, I missed the first six races of the championship uh, in Formula BMW and um, started midway through the season and had a very strong season and finished second overall in the championship. So, And then to get nominated for that award and to win that award at the end of the season was kind of a, a massive turning point in my career. And um, yeah, I, re I still remember the, the night at the Autosport Awards when my name got called out. And uh, Did you know about it? Uh, not before, <laughs> okay. but uh, it was a complete surprise. And um, but the, you know the the amount the winners that had won that award, it was um, you know a real turning point and kind of changed my career. I think it gave um, me more confidence and uh, the link with McLaren, which is you know I'm now a test driver there, so it's um, certainly helped me a lot in my career. That that one evening and that award, so that was uh, certainly uh, probably one of the biggest memories in my in my career. My name is Raul, I'm here in Punta del Este, Uruguay, to take you backstage and up the tracks of the Familia E. Come on, go with me.